this Squadron Supreme are a group of superheroes from another universe designed by Marvel creators to resemble DC's Justice League so that Marvel heroes could interact with DC heroes without all that legal mumbo jumbo getting in the way of crossovers or the like. However, their characters expanded beyond their XP nature, leading to several miniseries on the events that tied them into the Mind Marvel universe. For a time, they were stranded on the Mind Marvel Earth at a government facility called Project Pegasus. Originally, it was built to research alternative forms of energy. But then its scope expanded into housing superpowered criminals and, well, what we have here today. A military team is sent to investigate why Project Pegasus has suddenly gone quiet and its security measures activated. Along with them is a superhero who worked with Captain America, known as Battlestar. They enter into the facility and soon find scientist survivors who chastise them for disabling the security measures. And we soon see why, for within these walls are the Squadron Supreme, turned into zombies! After barely escaping from them, the scientists explain what happened. A former one of their peers was convinced that the DNA of the Squadron Supreme held the answers to great leaps in medical science. He even hoped to cure his own terminal illness with them. This man, Dr. Dowie, injected the DNA of the Squadron into medical cadavers and infused them with Zeta rays that helped him create almost most perfect clone duplicates of the Squadron Supreme. Unfortunately, something went wrong, and the clones awoke with the appetite for flesh. And then for some reason they all decided to sew together their old uniforms. Since Project Pegasus was researching alternate sources of energy, they also looked to harnessing a magma flow underneath their facility. The zombie Hyperion uses it as a way to escape and attack Kansas, eating poor Ma and Pa Kent here. Eventually, he comes across a freight train full of cattle that he happily munches down. He is also confronted by a bunch of Kansas-themed superheroes called the Harvesters. He slaughters them all save for Pioneer, a lady with a gun and the ability to reanimate dead cows. However, she is not the one to stop Hyperion, but the dead cows themselves. See, it turns out they had mad cow disease, and the zombie state really couldn't handle that. <laughs> Back in Project Pegasus, they find a lab with an unknown energy source. Reconstituting it, it turns out to be the hero known as Jack of Hearts. Unfortunately, it seems Dr. Dowie did not perish when the Zombie Squadron Supreme became active, but instead partially transformed into a zombie himself, and has of course embraced his mad scientist ways, and now believes that zombiehood is the best thing to ever happen to him. In another universe his name is Reed Richards. Fortunately, since the particles that make up Jack of Heart's body were used to create the zombies, Jack is able to reabsorb the particles back into himself and kill off the zombie squadron. However, it seems that Dr. Dowie does manage to escape and chow down some campers. Though no, that thread is never followed up on. Marvel Zombie Supreme is a return to form, my children. While these are not the Hunger Gospel zombies we've come to know and love, they do act in a similar manner, and the change of scenery allowed for a more claustrophobic horror experience. Next time, our penultimate Marvel Zombies outing brings us back to Howard the Duck and Zombie Nazis! Ha 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 ha